Welcome to ITU Telecom World 2016 from Bangkok, Thailand. I'm very pleased to be joined in the studio today by Yvette O, oh, who is the Executive Vice President for Market Development, APMEA, International Markets for MasterCard Worldwide. Yvette, thank you very much indeed. Yes, it's my pleasure to be here. Now, I'd like to start off by talking about uh, partnerships and collaboration in digital financial services. How do you think we can drive these better? I think... Um you know, the, the stakeholders in the ecosystem, they should have one common goal. And that common objective or goal is really to develop the best user experience that meets the needs of the users themselves. So, um, so at the end of the day, it means driving partnerships, right? And partnerships will actually lead to interoperability. So besides the user experience, the customer first approach, which is important, I think there are other ingredients that is going to be really necessary for the effective partnerships to work. We, I'm talking about rules, standards, then it will basically at the end of the day result in consistent user experience. Um, the role of regulators as well, because it is very important that they implement regulations or policy which will allow the stakeholders to work together in an effective partnership uh, approach. And last but not least, I think um, it's really around um, just leveraging each other's um, assets and capabilities and uh, just driving that collaboration. And I think we have a very excellent uh, model that exists in partnerships. Um, in Egypt, for example, MasterCard has been working with the regulator, the banks, the telcos and even other payment service providers like bill payment aggregators to deliver um, government benefits to consumers so that they have access to transaction accounts, store their money, uh, be able to actually use their money to send and pay for uh, airtime top up as well as pay you know, f uh, for goods and services at merchants and even access certain government services. Now, those are some of the opportunities. What about the challenges involved? Um, I think, okay, um, it's really the lack of interoperability. There are many models that exist today, right? Multiple models, the Banglet model, the telco model, the over-the-counter model. Um, and um, I think this really forces partnerships, leveraging, as I said earlier on, the capabilities that the different partners bring together. And... Um, and I think the other ingredient is also going to be, you know, the collaboration and synergies between the financial and the telco regulators. I think that's critical if you think about, you know, scaling up financial inclusion deployments. So there may be examples, I'll give you a simple, you know, simple scenario where, you know, the user gets really confused and you're talking about financial, uh, you know, financially excluded people whose literacy level is pretty low. And it ha if they have government disbursements going into an account, and then they have to load their, you know, their wallet you know, to do airtime top up, use cash to pay you know, for groceries, it's really confusing for them. What's needed in your opinion in terms of ecosystem development uh, for digital financial services to achieve their full potential? Ah, so this is actually, you know, uh, a classic chicken and egg situation. So for these providers, right, it's, um, it's a question of, do I have enough account holders to be, you know, to be um, on my platform or on their platform before they build the points of uh, acceptance or where consumers can use uh, their products? Or is it the other way around? You know, do, do they invest in the acceptance or the points of usage you know, infrastructure before you know, they bring in you know, um, enough consumers onto their, onto their platform? So again, it drives back right, to the whole you know, issue around partnerships, collaboration. Uh, the partnerships is not only between you know, the public sector and the private sector. As I said earlier on, um, even collaboration uh, amongst the regulators is going to be really important. Um, so in Mexico, just as an example, we have actually enabled uh, government disbursements into bank accounts. And, you know, the market realized that, you know, there are millions of these consumers who are now, 
you know, who have access to funds electronically. So what they're saying is that this, this, there is an opportunity now for us to actually, you know, develop low cost acceptance, you know, solutions to really address, you know, this opportunity, this potential of customers that exist in, in the ecosystem. So I think, you know, um, and, and uh, I think for, for the providers as well, the other thing that I think they need to look at as part of the expense, expansion strategy is um, to identify, you know, the huge inflows. By huge inflows, I mean, you know, like, you know, salary payments, pensions, uh, even remittances. Now, IT Telecom World is a forum which brings together very important players from around the, the globe. Uh, such as yourself. I just wanted to find out for you, what's the value of attending events such as this? Oh, I see a lot of value in attending this event. I mean, you know, it's, it's um, you know, meeting, you know, uh, networking with, with uh, you know, the regulators, with the telcos, with all the industry players here. And as I said, you know, um, the potential partnerships and collaboration that we can actually look forward to. You better. Thank you very much indeed. You're most welcome.